Room Monitoring System is a system of fully integrated IoT devices that collect, store, process, and display information about specific parts of a room. The target market of the product is mainly hotel rooms, but can also be sold to end users for deployment in their homes. The purpose of the RMS is to increase the efficiency of hotel staff by providing data at the glance of an eye. This includes a progress monitor of when the next time to clean the floor is, if water was detected on the surface of countertops in the bathroom, if the inventory of towels and paper needs to be restocked, and if the trash needs to be emptied. The data is provided by various sensors strategically positioned throughout the room. The sensors each contain their own microcontroller, which communicate to a central microcontroller, which then relays all the data to the cloud, where the information is stored, processed, and eventually retrieved by a mobile app. The mobile app provides the most convenient way for maids to digest the information about the room. Our solution is easy to deploy and is cost effective. Las Vegas alone has hundreds of hotels with thousands of rooms each. With the RMS, there is no longer a need to waste time and money manually managing these rooms. Our design consists of four tiers. Sensors that collect and transmit data, controller that receives and transmits data, cloud server that receives and stores data, and mobile app that retrieves and displays data. The sensors and controller are implemented using custom PCBs and a combination of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to transfer data. The cloud server receives data through MQTT, and the mobile app retrieves JSON data through HTTP. In our first demonstration here, uh, we have the trash monitor PCB. And for this demonstration, we are simply filling up the trash until the PCB light turns on, as you can see there. And when it does, it'll read on the app that the trash is full so that the staff can take it and clean it up. In our second uh, demonstration, we have the inventory tracker module. The purpose of this PCB is to simply track items taken from a room. So as you can see here, the water bottle being lifted up and down is to keep track if someone takes something from a room. In our third demonstration, we have the water detector module PCB. The purpose of this module is to simply detect if any on surface in a room, such as the sink, if there's water in a specific area that is not needed, uh, such as a spill or any other kind of thing. In this final demonstration, we are selling off the main controller and floor sensor module. The floor sensor module records the amount of time someone spends in the room, and from that, we can approximate how clean the room is. And the main controller module keeps track of this data, but also records the temperature and humidity of the room. The trash bin inventory and the water sensor are using the Wi-Fi, while the flow sensor transfer data to a main controller via Bluetooth, and the main controller will send the data to cloud through Wi-Fi. For data communication, ESP01 Wi-Fi and HC05 Bluetooth module are used. They are used to upload the data to the ThingSpool cloud platform. When the data is ready on the cloud, and they are ready to be virtualized in the cloud and retrieved from the mobile app. The mobile app is written in Swift UI. The app starts by making a HTTP request to the cloud with the customer's username and password to retrieve an authorization token to access data. Once the credentials are confirmed, the app begins to send another HTTP request to retrieve telemetry values, which are stored on the cloud server. The data is received back in JSON format, where it is parsed, processed, and displayed to the screen. Conclusions. The RMS was built utilizing off-the-shelf components and open protocols and software, compiled into a system that leverages the power of IoT. The room monitoring system efficiently yet inexpensively completes a task. Some of the future improvements were to add support for other type of sensors and improve the capability of device by implementing a voice control function.